I love learning about the behind the scenes of the making of shows, movies, things that like you don't read in the press notes. So for both of you, what do you think fan, like soon to be fans of the Halo series would be surprised to learn about the actual making of the show? Oh my gosh. About the making of the show. Yeah. I mean, how much fun we actually had? No, that, 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 did, that should I be mean, surprising. How it, hard it was, maybe? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like, we kind of have a joke. Well, you know, this is Halo, so anything could happen. Because I feel like any adversity that could get thrown our way did. Yeah. And the and just the, it was such a huge production to begin with. I mean, we, honestly, it, it was like making multiple feature films. And that's how we approached it from yeah. a, you know, sort of production value and, and um, sort of, scope and scale and talent level of the crew. Um, there, was, there was never a, never a simple day because no. if you're shooting a scene in a normal television show set in the 21st century, you can say, okay, sit in that chair, we'll bring a glass. <clears throat> in the 26th century, you're like, well, what does a chair look like? What does a yeah. glass look like? What are they eating? Um, have you established what this world looks like? Okay, what are they wearing? I mean, just everything became meetings and questions. So everything you see on the screen is a product of thousands of hours of conversations yeah. among different departments, building something and then making sure we're all making the same show at the same time, which is what our job was. Yeah. You know? And, and you know, we don't show a lot of everyday life in the video games, right? right? So there was a lot of invention from a, from a visual design and production design perspective. But um, I think really it was an amazing experience because it was so hard. And I think when we all, I, I remember so well that last day of shooting, you know, we were sort of all in the trenches together, and we came out of it feeling triumphant because, frankly, we survived. Um, yeah, we were standing in a pile of, of puddle of, of mud, yeah, and, and saying thanks for three great years or two. You know, what I mean, it's you've been it, filming for ten years. Let's be honest. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know? yeah. In fact, uh, I was like saying to Kiki a that third this of week, my life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This week for me is three years since I started on the project, and, yep. I, and I'm still, you know, in mixes and visual effects and yep. scoring and everything. Yeah. I have to ask you because you've been greenlit for a second season. Um, for fans that are going to finish, when do you actually think you're going to start filming season two? Yeah, I mean, we're the what what we really don't want to do is have two years until the next season, right? And we're also all very excited to get in there and do all the things that that you know we. Um, we learned from season one or didn't get to do. So, um, you know, I would say we're, we're eager to get back into production as soon as possible, and we're, we're definitely on a path towards production. Taking a video game, a movie, animation, each thing has to be adapted for its own medium. And I personally uh, have no problems with Master Chief taking off his helmet. I think you need it to show Pablo. It needs to be done on the series. You know, when he's in a personal moment, he's not going to be sitting there with he's a human. He's going to take his helmet off. But could you sort of talk about um, that you did want to do that and why it was important to you guys that you would show the humanity of these of these people? Yeah, I'll, I'll start on it, but Steve yeah. should speak to the moment because he treated that moment and writing to it with, with such respect and gravitas. But, um, you know, it wasn't something where from the get-go we said his helmet needs to come off. You know, we left it open. But it was also always a goal and a priority that this was going to be about Chief's story, and more importantly, it was going to be about John's story. Because John, as a character, isn't someone that we explore in the games very much. We do in, in novels. And, and so as we started getting into what that, what that evolution looked like and what it meant for John to sort of understand his role as Master Chief and what that means, and frankly, his, his role as a human and, and the broader question of, of humanity at stake, it was so clear that we needed to be able to see the person in the helmet, and we needed to see John outside of the armor, both, you know, I would say emotionally and, and physically. And then, you know, when it came to the writing of the moment, it was so important that, that that moment reflect why it was important in the story, right? Because story's gonna drive, drive everything, and, and I think that's an area where Steve really... Well, I think you said it great, I mean, the... We didn't just treat it like he gets on a ship, throws his helmet off, and oh, okay, he's taking off his helmet. We made essentially the season about taking off the helmet. So really, um, we leaned into the helmet removal as the sort of wellspring from which the rest of the season progressed, um, flowed. Um, the show really is about who is John, right? And it's you as a, if you play the game, you are John, you don't ever see his face. So now we're getting a chance to show you, no, this is John, and 
we're going to have John figure out who he is, and you're going to go along for the ride. So the goal was to make the helmet removal a big enough moment for all of us so that if you don't know the show, you're like, okay, this is obviously an important moment. But if you do know the game and the, and the lore, you're thinking, okay, our journey is going to begin. And we're going to take you along this journey with John as he discovers his own humanity. So you're right there with John, sort of taking off the helmet with him and discovering who he is together. On that note, I gotta stop. I'm just gonna say thank you again. Great. Congrats on the, yeah, it's so fast. And uh, I can't wait to watch the rest of the episodes. Yeah. Thank you.